All right, so let's look at an optional command that we can create to basically flush out any expired authentication tokens from our database. Obviously, if users are requesting these tokens, but then actually not using them, we may want to just flush them out. So we're gonna create a console command for this. So we can do this on the command line. So we're gonna say php artisan make command, and we're just gonna call this clear expired user login tokens and we can go ahead and start to implement this so over in app console under commands let's go ahead and give this a name a description and then go ahead and fill it in so we're going to call this auth uh, or it's at least going to be under the auth namespace and we're going to call this clear tokens and we can just give this a description and we'll just say flush expired authentication tokens and now down here under handle we don't want to write too much code. We can really create a scope for this. So if we just pull in our app user login token namespace at the top, what we ideally want to do is something like user login token expired and then just call the delete method just to get rid of them. So we know that over on our user login token model, we already have the token expiry. So this is really the perfect place because Creating a scope here means we can make use of this expiry. And if we want to update the expiry in future, it will just work. So let's create this uh, scope then. So it's going to be scope expired. And into this, obviously, we receive our query builder. And we just want to return query where the created at date of that particular token is less than carbon now so pretty similar to what we did with the is expired method but obviously now we are uh, doing this within a where clause but obviously this just doesn't work because what we need to do is take away the expiry so we need to do a sub seconds on self token expiry so imagine the created at date was say 50 seconds ago if this is less than uh, the current date minus 30 seconds then or this is greater than the current date minus 30 seconds, then we're going to end up with this. So this will give us back all of the uh, tokens that are technically expired. So now this will just work. So we can go ahead and run this after we attach it in our console. So under commands, let's go ahead and add this in now. So this is app console commands and it's clear expired user login tokens. And we can just pull the full class name in. So now if we go ahead and we run PHP Artisan, we have under auth, hopefully, there we go. So we've got clear tokens, so auth clear tokens. So PHP Artisan auth clear tokens, and there we go. Now, obviously we don't have any tokens at the moment, but we can very easily test this. To test this, I'm just literally going to reduce the token expiry so we don't have to wait round for too long. And let's go ahead and initiate the login link, go over to the database, give that a refresh, that's sat in there. We can basically just wait now 10 seconds and we can go ahead and run this command. So let's go ahead and set this up ready to go. That should have been about 10 seconds. So if I go ahead and run this, that should have deleted that just there, great. Now we can obviously test this out by requesting one and then going ahead and immediately running this, which shouldn't have deleted that token. Great, so let's just go ahead and put that back to say 30 seconds. In fact, I'm gonna put this to 120 because that makes a little bit more sense. So what you could do now is go ahead and schedule this for uh, once a day. You could schedule it for every minute if you wanted to be really uh, ruthless about how you are going ahead and you know doing this. And all you'd need to do is say, uh, schedule command auth clear tokens. And then maybe you could say, daily. And as long as you have your cron job set up to run PHP artisan, artisan schedule run, so PHP artisan schedule run, then this will go ahead and it will just work. So that is pretty much it. Just a, a tiny little bit of uh, advice about clearing up tokens. You obviously don't need to do this, but it may make sense in some circumstances if you find this table getting full with tokens that really uh, just aren't going to be used anymore because obviously we have that expiry in place anyway No one's going to be able to use them. So we might as well just flush them out So there we go. That is pretty much it how to clear our expired tokens uh, with a artisan console command